I'm Nate Kasani, and welcome to my last lecture. I was trying to think about one single memory that I can consider my favorite memory, but there's really no way of having one favorite memory, like when I've made so many. So instead, I have uh, one that just kind of meant something to me and enlightened me a little bit, I guess. And uh, that being that over the summer I went to Cape Cod with just my family for a week and rented a house on the Cape. And it was really because in high school you stop, you stop hanging out with your parents. Really, like it's not cool to hang out with your parents. You don't think they're fun anymore. Like when you have your other friends and you're going to parties and doing like other stuff with your friends. So yeah, I really just felt like I'd grown kind of distant from them. And my brother, he was at college too, so I didn't I don't talk to him too much. And uh, just going there and hanging out with them every day, like just going to the beach, relaxing, talking, just everything. I don't know. It uh, made me feel good. It made me feel like I was back in touch with them again. After all like the years of not really, of like kind of growing apart, not really telling them anything. Or, so yeah, it was just, it felt different, it felt weird, but it was good. It makes you think that, like your parents are your parents, you never, wanna, you never really want to grow apart from them. And I wish I had stayed closer to them throughout high school, instead of brushing them off whenever they tried to talk to me. So yeah, that's probably my favorite recent memory that I've had. My time at Aponiquit has been pretty awesome, I'd say. I'd say for the most part, everything was really, really good. I, uh, <laughs> summer, like, before freshman year, like, everyone, I don't really know how to explain it, but everyone was friends. Like, we were all, all friends. Like, every kid I knew that I grew up with, bro, everyone was still really good friends. And then, like, from the first day of high school to towards then to now, broken off into like a bunch of different groups and I don't know no one really it's rare for everyone to hang out like at the same place it just never happens I've made a lot of new friends a ton of new friends here and I lost touch with just as many as I've made new friends which kind of stinks but it happens it's gonna happen your whole life and uh I don't know it's been like an experience, just a crazy experience. Everything I've done, all the memories I made, you learn a lot in high school, like a lot, more than I expected. I didn't expect it to be anything like it was. And I'll take everything I learned through the rest of my life, so I'm thankful for uh, the Bonaquit. I'd say one important thing is it's a little cliche, but don't judge a book by its cover. I know you've heard that all your life, but there's a lot of kids that you might not want to hang out with because they look different or act different. They just don't seem like someone that you get along with. But you miss out on a lot, like a lot of awesome people if you stick to the same same type of kids and like that are all the same as you. You don't want to do that. And I learned that because eighth grade, all below that, I would always hang out with the same people, and I'd never talk to like another kid that I just would see every day, I just decided I didn't want to talk to him because he didn't seem the same as me, and then in high school you just, you kind of like branch out and you talk to everybody a little bit, and you find out like, oh that kid's actually really cool, he's a like, great kid, and some of those kids will become like your lifelong friends, so it's weird, but it's weird how that works, but it happens. Um, Another thing, uh, don't take anyone or anything for granted, because you'll hopefully not, but there's a good chance you'll learn the hard way that anything can happen, and someone that you see every day could be gone the next day. You could say goodbye to him one day and then never see him again. So, uh, yeah, life's, life's crazy like that. And I unfortunately did learn that the hard way, but I know now. Really don't take anything for granted. We'll, ne we'll never do that again. Um, one more thing. Like you, odds are that you will miss like these times of your life. So you might you might say, "Oh, I'm, 
I can't wait for like next month or something. I can't wait for when this happens or like this day. But never wish away. Never wish away your time. Because you're not going to get it back. Like these are the. Alright, so wait. A thank you to someone who has helped you along the way. Uh, probably too many people to thank, but I am. Um, my parents, my brother obviously have helped me every step of the way. And just been really supportive, really always pushing me to do better. And I couldn't thank them enough for everything that they've done for me. But uh, if we're talking about high school, you know, I've had three best friends since the first day I walked into the building. And that's Kev Wiswell, Sage Dessert, and Andrew Vergal. And they're, they're awesome. Definitely my best friends. Um, we've like drifted apart from time to time. Stopped hanging out as much every once in a while. But no matter what, we always we always like get right back to where we were, where, where we left off. And um, they're awesome. They're all they're all kind of different in their own way. Like Kev is just he's like one of the weirdest kids you'll ever meet. Like me and him are pretty much like the weirdest kids. And he's he's just funny. He's always there for me. Me and him it's like we're never doing anything on the weekend, so we always just hang out because everyone else is busy. So I always got Kev luckily. But um. Yeah, and Sage, he's probably he's like the exact same kid as me, like basically the exact same. If you know both of us, you know that we're the same kid. Uh, except I like to think I'm a little bit funnier. Than him. I don't know. And um, then Andrew's probably the nicest kid I know, most genuine kid, and he's like the one I usually go to for advice because Kevin Sage don't give too much like serious advice. So I usually go to Andrew. He knows he knows most things about life, I'd say. So I'm really thankful for for them. I've gone to them for probably everything you could think of and they always know like one of them always knows what to say and that's and that's something that I'm really I feel really lucky to have uh, yeah we've we've done some crazy stuff like we're, we've done the, too many like insane things I can't even get into it but uh someone usually gets hurt but it's alright it's never me so um, I actually Kev let me hit him with a car for a video project I did for Spanish one time. Like he let me hit him with a car and I, I broke his arm. And then I made him stay instead of go to the hospital to film the last part of the project. So <laughs> yeah, I'm a good friend though. So those are the kids that I hope I'll be close with for the rest of my life. Actually I know I know I'll be close with them for the rest of my life. Like I I'm gonna have uh, three best men at my wedding. That's the kind of kids the kind of friendship we have. I want to go to a lot of different countries, like a lot, because there's a lot more out there than just a small town with a couple lakes, like 5,000 people. It's pretty boring here. I love it, but it's pretty boring. So I definitely like to get out and uh, get to see a lot of the different places I've never been before. I think that'd be fun. Better save up some money first, though. I, um, I think everyone does, but I definitely want to be pretty rich. So I'm planning on doing business. So I hope I can be a pretty successful businessman. Make some make some big bucks. That's money isn't everything though, so I shouldn't really I shouldn't really go too far into the money thing. But I um I'd like to do something that I get remembered for. I wanna be I wanna be like remembered for something good. Something that like helps somebody or helped a large group of people or just anything great that I've done. Just something. I wanna be a good good father. I have like a good family, coach coach my kids' sports teams, because that's what my dad always did for me. And I want to be able to give him some good advice too, keep him out of trouble. And that's really all the dreams that I, that I need, I guess. Sounds like a pretty good life to me. So uh, that's my last lecture. I hope it uh, gave you guys some insight or something and let you do a little bit. I'm signing off.